Hi to Chaco. In the bottom left, we have Team uh, Blade. Team Blade and Hawk. They are gonna win again because, you know, Hawk always wins. So Team Blade and Hawk at the bottom left, they're both human. Also, human always win. So, they have already won the game. At the bottom right, we have in the red, we have Cash and Happy. Happy playing human. And they are in the red. Okay. In the top left, we have in the yellow, Loliath and Serene. Uh, Loliath and Serene did win the last 2v2v2v2. So they are the big contenders. They are... Uh, they will have to kill Hawk and Blade though to win this tournament. To, or tournament to win this, this FFA madness. Here at the top right we have Foggy and Orc Worker. They are the, the weakest link. At least... My intuition tells me that, but we'll see if they really are the weakest link or not. Maybe they will surprise us all and win everything. Hi, hi, have a good game and good emotions. <laughs> Thanks, people, Hunter D. I hope I have the best emotions ever. We have a warden here for Foggy, never mind. Foggy suddenly has a much better chance to win this game now. A warden and a death knight here for Orc Worker. Uh, death knight, not that useful, but you know, we have a death knight. His ultimate sucks, his skill sucks. If you don't have undead units to coil, if you don't have ally undead units to coil, if you cannot have any other undead units to coil, he is kind of bad, guys. The Warden is super powerful. It's a random hero. Did I mention that already? It's random heroes. Hey, Chaka, I really like your hair. How do you get it cut? Uh, my mom cuts it. Thanks. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have a Dreadlord here for Serene. So, in, okay, Dreadlord is not that bad. I mean, it's kind of bad, but he at least has uh, one of the best ultimates in the game. We have a Blood Mage. Blood Mage is always super powerful. Blood Mage is one of the best heroes in the game no matter what. We have a Dark Ranger. Oh, Charm is going to be nice late game. And um, he's going to creep over here. And here we have... Actually, now that I think about it, the last 2v2v2v2 cup... Uh, Hawk was in it, actually. He just had, had a different partner. Who was the partner? We have a Beastmaster here for Blade. I think it was... Was Cash's partner? And Happy and Blade weren't in it. Instead of uh, Chamiko and Focus. Uh, no, Chamiko and uh, Lucifer. Uh, Beastmaster here anyway for Blade. It's gonna be uh, interesting. What do we have here? Keeper here for Cash. And a Pitlord for Happy. Happy knows how to play Pitlord. He, he plays Pitlord third against Orc all the time. Now he gets one in FFA. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be beautiful. How many money do you pay your mom to cut your hair? Nothing. No monies. Oh, th this building is on fire. It's like the pit lord has already uh, burnt it down. He now realizes, oh, I've been here already. I burned this all down before the game started. There's a nice uh, ascent ward. There's another one over here. Okay, they know if they're gonna be attacked from the north. They can see it with the ascent wards. Okay, everyone is creeping. They're creeping. The Dreadlord is creeping. The Blood Mage is creeping. People are creeping. Expansion going up already for uh, Hawk. Of course, Hawk going with the expansion. Of course, Blade already has the expansion. He's just proving he's better than Hawk by getting his expansion up earlier. These peasants are doing nothing, but they're done. Start mining, Hawk. You're so far behind over Blade. Blade is such a better player than you, Hawk. Kappa. It's all just a Kappa comment, guys. It's just because his expansion is up. Whoa, it went up 400 gold earlier, though. But Hawk already started attacking. Blade, blade stack is Players almost as fast. Okay, but Hawk is uh, going for blacksmith already. Well, Blade goes for lumber mill instead. And there's a goblin laboratory. I'm sure they're gonna get some shredders. Well, what do we have here? Dreadlord. By the way, Dark Ranger and Beastmaster are both super creeper heroes, so they will creep to level five super fast. They will have two level five heroes in a matter of seconds. Well, you know the blood mage and Dreadlord kind of suck at creeping. You know, it's gonna take some time before they hit the levels they want. Move over here, the Death Knight. You know, he is just so useless. But the Warden is useful, so... Death Knight being useless is fine. What did we have here? Okay, we have the expansion for Happy, by the way. We have the expansion for Foggy. We have no expansion yet over here for... For Orc Worker. He's like the only player without an expansion. Cash is going for an expansion. Uh, Lolite has an expansion. Oh, but what do we have here? So we also no expansion yet. It seems the orc players, they don't like expansions. They're the only players without expansions. 
Of course, there's no undead players in this game. There's only one Night Elf. It's foggy, of course. He's going for a second hero. Oh, look at this attack. This attack on this base. What a nice attack here by Team Sabina Loliath. Oh, he has level 2. Uh, how do you call this skill again? Uh, swarm. Vampiric Swarm. No, that's not the name. Carrion Swarm. Level 2 of Karen Swarm, but here comes the Dark Ranger. She's level 4. She will. She has a nice Potion of Divinity. There is the Beastmaster. He has some nice items as well. He also has Vampiric Aura. Let's see which Vampiric Aura is stronger. Of course, uh, level the item is stronger than level 1 of Vampiric Aura. The, or is it? I forgot. Level 1, is it 15 or, or 10%? I think it's... I don't know. There's a Book of the Dead. The Dreadlord just used it. And the Dark Ranger, she... Uh, she is beautiful, but she has to retreat. She well, oh no, she didn't kill the peasant footman. She didn't get the skeleton. Uh, it looks like Team Yellow with the Book of the Dead and the summons and uh, against the summons, I guess. The Book of the Dead is just too strong, and he gives some more mana to the Dreadlord. Let's see another Vampiric Swarm, but first kill this uh, this healing ward. Oh, Vampiric Swarm so strong, or Carrion Swarm, I mean. Come on, Chaco, you need to cast more games with the Dreadlord so you know the name of all these spells. You know exactly how much Vampiric uh, Aura level one gives. No, someone knows in my chat. Beastmaster has to use the heal. Oh, stone. Again, two games in a row that we see today that uh, we don't see health stones being used. The footman here dying. The militia dying. This looks pretty bad for Team Blade and Hawk. They're going to be crippled from the start of the game. This expansion, they can't defend it. The Dreadlord now, level 4. 15% or 10%? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Well, he's level 2 now. So is it 30% or 20% now? I feel like this. What do I feel like? A player's force oh, it kills a peasant. The second. Oh, there's a farce here. Uh, some some wolfies. There's another carrion swarm. Oh, there goes a rifle. Can't steam uh, team blue stabilize. Meanwhile, we have uh, Foggy just creeping in the center here with Orc worker. Same here for uh, Happy and uh, his ally. They're just creeping over there. Okay, there goes another rifleman. What well, is the second hero here for his ally? Blade. He doesn't have a second hero yet, his Beastmaster. We remember seeing him die. Shred is working hard. This expansion though. Oh, we have an Alchemist second for Blade. Okay, and he's hunting down Footman. One more peasant goes down. Level 2 is 20%. Okay. So level 1 is 10%, level 2 is 20, level 3 is 30%. That's how Vampiric Aura works. That's what my chest is saying, I think. Oh, come on, guys. No one is for sure. <laughs> no one knows for sure. <laughs> no one plays Dreadlord. There's a flame strike. These rivermen move out of the way. One more radio goes down. This, uh, this expansion did go down. It's not, you know, not game over just yet, guys. It's not that bad. They will uh, stabilize unless they just die to the flame strike. <laughs> so much damage, of course. Level 2 flame strike. He steals some more mana from the farce here, but oh, he has to TP out. But at least they stabilized. They lost an expansion. But in the long term, that expansion loss, I mean, they're behind. They're definitely behind. Worker 3 info says 15, 30, 45. Okay. So it is. Uh, there you guys got it. 15% level 1, 30 level 2, 45 at level 3. These mass are worth some raiders here, killing some units. What race did Happy go? He went human, of course. Why would he go something something else? Human has tanks. He has two expansions, by the way. And oh, actually, Cash went for. I was saying earlier how Orc didn't go for expansions, but Cash went for the expansion. Orc worker still no expansion, even though Foggy has two expansions. Is Foggy gonna give him a lot of gold or what? And here the same thing. We have two expansions for uh, Loliath, but no expansions for Sawin. And I wonder. A player's forces are under attack. I wonder why. Isn't it smarter to just both have an expansion instead of uh, having one player have two expansions? Meanwhile, Blade is creeping here. Is Alchemist. If you can get a level 6 Alchemist. He can turn some units into gold. It's gonna be nice. Dreadlord and Orc as a third hero would be dope. Well, we have uh, Dreadlord with Orc as first hero. Is that not dope? 
He has Raiders though. The thing is, in FFA, even as a work uh, late game, it's not melee units. You don't see melee units. It's just gonna be range. You know, usually it's air units. And then anti-air units, which are also ranged. And uh, yeah, there's just no there's no melee. The Lord. Maybe we'll see Torn or two or three, maybe. Maybe four. Just, uh, this guy's dead, guys. Granite Golem is dead. What item do we pick up? What is happening here, by the way? Flame. Oh, he cancels the expansion again with a flame strike with a blood mage. Or was there an expansion? I don't know, actually, if the expansion was remade. I don't see any peasants dying there. The blood mage here is level five almost in a moment. It's a warden level one. Warden for blade. Alchemist is creeping, this Rifeman survives. Blade is doing fine, but his ally Hawk. What is he going for? He, what does have? Wh where's Hawk's army? Is this his army? Oh, this is his army. What hero does he get third? No hero yet. Nice play here by uh, Team Sawin, by the way. Team Lolite and Sawin. Taking, uh, doing some damage to Team Hawk at the start of the game. They know that team is so p super powerful. They know they always win all the FFAs, or Hawk does. Okay, well, let's see. This Dreadlord is fine. He's level 5 now. The Beastmaster second here for Sawin. Is nice. Blood Mage for the light. Steal some mana. Is he gonna be level 5? No, but... Oh, maybe. They move away all the other heroes. No, the keeper comes back in. He steals all the mana at first. <laughs> that's so that's so nice. Let's see. They are creeping over here. Cash and the happy, of course. Here they uh they crap something over here. Look at this alchemist. What the fuck? Plus 20 for damage. Claws of attack plus 15. Okay. Level 5 Beastmaster, level 2 Warden. What a beautiful game. What a beautiful game. This is best of three, <laughs> joke. Best of seven. Best of 99. My overlay says nothing, which means it's best of one, of course. We have two death knights now for Orc Worker. Okay, at least they can heal each other. At least, and they can nuke, of course. And he's killing his own grunt. Two death knights. Huh. Cannot nuke the pit lord. Look at all these death knights here. Happy, of course, has the pit lord. Where's Happy? Oh, they have a farseer as well. Cash got a farseer. Oh, we have engagement here. Keeper here being hunted down. The TC is almost level three here for Cash. This keeper uh, doesn't want to die just yet. We have a blood mage here for Happy. He has a pit lord. He has a arc mage. Flame strike. Arc mage is uh, always nice, of course, with the endurance aura. Uh, not endurance. The uh, whatever the or what is the name of the aura? Bruns aura. The Beastmaster here is dead for Blade. And he um, has to retreat here. It's two against one. It's not fair. His uh, ally is somewhere else and he doesn't have a... Oh, he does have a TP. He's losing some Rifemen on the retreat. He should have probably just TP'd out a long time ago. Maybe before he lost the Beastmaster. Yeah, that would, that would have been so smart, Chaco. You should be playing these games. You'd be winning all these games. Can you go in here? This, this little side street. It is looking pretty cozy. This side street. I wonder if you can. Uh, if there's a really good. What is this? Armo. Arm. What? Tr Tracer. Tracy's. I wonder if there's a good coffee shop over here hidden. That's where you do your dates, guys. You don't. You don't do it on the main street over here, where all the other. Uh, where you know where the Starbucks. You go to one of these little, cozy, streets, and there's a beautiful uh, coffee shop over there. Oh, Team Blue is being attacked from two sides. We have Lolite over here with Knights. And we have uh, Team Happy over here with other units. And what is uh, Team Green doing in the meantime? Creeping. Okay. Oh, but we have an... Do we have something here? Pitlord for Foggy doing a bit of harassment. Uh, Hawk just fence off these Knights. Easy peasy. Hawk is so good at this game. The Warden though. Don't die to the Flame Strike. Warden, what the fuck? That warden just dying to flame strike. That's how good flame strike is. You just heard, and warden dies. We'll see. Uh, now that Hawk is done with his uh, killing uh, Lolliet, 
You can TP in, save his ally, but it might be too late, too little, too late. We have a de uh, not a death knight, so many death knights this game. Come on for a happy uh, for uh, hog this guy at time. Farsi does go down. Now the flame strike, so much damage. Flame strike, so powerful. Are you kidding me? Do we see more, more flame strikes? The Alchemist goes down. Doesn't look good for Team Blade and Hawk. Looks like they're just dying to these inner fired Wyvern. They have seven armor right now. And Endurance Aura. And Team Hawk GG's out. The best player in the FFA community is out of the game. And now it's three teams left, guys. The light is healing up. Ah, There's a pit lord for Foggy. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't even realize. Oh, we have what? Two pit lords for Foggy. In fact, <laughs> two pit lords for Foggy. Well, Orc Worker has two Death Knights and a Keeper. Okay. Interesting. So we see a lot of Dooms here. After these heroes get level six, imagine all the Dooms, all the Doom Guards. Okay, well, now, they're, now that we're down to three teams, we'll get the uh, standoffs, of course. The three-player standoffs, or three-team standoffs, are, they are going to be beautiful. Don't go to the main street where Cash and Happy are wrecking Foggy. Go to the nice, quiet side street. Yeah. All these units are dying. Um. <laughs> Potion of greater mana. We have a sheep. There's a witch doctor sheep. Times under siege by what? Don't know, by a scout or something. Foggy, I mean, Foggy, the only knight of player. He has a level 5 warden with two crowns of kings and a helm of failure. And a clause of attack. This warden pretty uh, strong, actually. Plus 34 damage. So 45 plus uh, 45 on average. Oh, now even more. She does a lot of damage. And she attacks pretty fast. She has uh, 40. 48 agility. She has a lot of mana, 525. She's pretty strong, guys. Pretty strong. One of lightning shield. We do have a few Tauren here for Orc Worker. He also has two Helm of Failures on the Death Knight. Could maybe give those to the Warden if she needs more super items. Strength and agility, like. But she 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 doesn't have space. <laughs> I mean, the Claws of Attack could go to the Keeper, but besides that, they all have melee units. Yeah, the Keeper should probably get a Claws of Attack plus 15. This Death Knight is level 5, it's hiding over there. Beautiful. We have a File Hunt as well. Um, the Light just cleaning up this base with the tank. Let's look at the heroes over here. What does Sawina have? He has a Beastmaster with the Rock Golem. Archmage with the Orb of Frost. Always a good item. Always a super powerful item. Uh, the Dreadlord level 5. Okay, and where is Loliot? Where is he? I'm looking at the minimap, but I can't can't find him. Is he here? Oh, he's here attacking Happy. Level two Lich, level two Keeper with the Scroll of Regeneration, uh, Restoration, and then level five Blood Mage. Seems like Light is the player that crept him least. He's level 5 and 2 level 2s, and he's just killing shit. He has 33 knights, he's killing expansions. He, he did some damage earlier against uh, against Hog. A lot of damage. It's beautiful. Okay. And then we have Team Red. And what what are the heroes here for Team Red? We have Happy with the uh, Archmage level 3. Blood Mage level 5. And the Pit Lord level 5. With the Orb of Fire. Of course, it stacks with the Cleave. Orb of Fire, so good. Actually, to be honest, it's on a Pit Lord, it's probably better than the Orb of Lightning. Maybe on all these heroes, you rather want Orb of Fires. No, you want probably one with Orb of Lightning, at least. Uh, his ally here, Cash, level 5 Keeper, level 4 TC, and level 3 Fars here. But it seems like Foggy just has the best items in the game. Team Foggy, they just have been creeping so much. They have all the super items. Also, Orc Worker has uh, a lot of good items, these Pit Lords. Orc Worker has plenty to coil. Level 3 coils. What is this? Ring of Protection. They probably... Well, someone could pick it up. But no one picks it up. Ring of Protection, not that necessary, apparently. Stank just cleaning up the space so he can expand here later. 
And, uh... He's just walking here, but someone is gonna see him. Or is he seeing himself? He's seeing himself! Do cleave and fire orb stack? I'm pretty sure they do, right? Maybe they don't, but... It wouldn't make sense if they don't. Oh, they're buying some more items. You can buy items, of course. What did they buy? We have a dagger of escape on the TC, which is nice with stomp. If we can, if we see the level 5 TC. I don't think he will uh, do cleave attacks to the air units, though. That's not how it works. Okay, we have an attack here. And defense. And uh, TP out there by Orc Worker, because he has to defend here against... Uh, against Happy... Not Happy. Who was this? Who this lost their heroes? Oh, this this over here. Okay, uh, Lolayet or was it this over here? <laughs> Lolayet just lost two heroes, and we have Gogonash dead. The pit lord. That was uh, Foggy's hero. Okay, well, better pay attention because uh, we have interactions all over the map. Here comes on hippos. They're 2-2 two, two upgraded, actually. Not even 3-3. Three, three. Bad Riders are only 1 and 2 upgraded. But the Raiders are... What, what a nice TP. 1 Warden and 2 Bears. That, was, <laughs> that TP was more bluff than anything. But the Warden is super strong. Remember that. She does plus 49 damage now with the Roar. Uh, oh, here come the end. Just fight the means. Come on, you see other two as well. Okay, I kind of want to use those on the Wyvern though, but sure. Uh, the Warden here in the front, she's... Oh, the Dreadlord has to TP out already. And his ally... Wait, is it just one player? Is it just one player? Just, just so we... Over here we have... Um, nice flame strikes. I'm thinking maybe we can uh, make these teams actually color up. So we can see the difference between the two players instead of... Uh, you know doing team colors like if we do this of course right now it doesn't make sense but if we do like red and orange light blue and dark blue uh red green dark green isn't that great but yellow and i don't know maybe there's some uh, team colors we have two of these level five death knights here bloodlusted with chimeras bloodlusted this army looks super strong for team green where is uh, so ally where's the light he's fighting the light should probably be uh, helping his ally instead of uh, and letting the expansion die because uh, Sawin is dying here. Lolite, does he have a TP? Lolite has nothing. He has a few knights. It doesn't look good here for Team Lolite and Sawin. It seems like uh, Bloodless is Chimeras with uh, level 5 Death Knights and Pit Lords are just too strong. This is uh, looking over for Team Lolite. I mean, Sawin at least is dead. He doesn't even have uh, that many expansions. He has one. Everything here is just is dying. Death Knight walking pretty fast. He can throw a coil if he wants to. You know, I'm sure he has... I mean, I'm sure he has plenty of mana. There's not much to coil for the Death Knights. But only the Pit Lords. The, the other Death Knights. And uh, offensive coils. So, just throw these coils. You're never gonna run out of mana. Bad Riders are going to die. This Master is beautiful. This base is being cleaned up by... Uh, Chimeras. There's another... Uh, another... Another Tauren. Meanwhile, what happened to Lolayet? So many tanks here, but... Uh, I mean, so many towers here, but uh, there's tanks, there's Rain of Fire. Bloodless is the uh, Wyvern on this side of the map. What's Team Sawin and Lolayet doing? They're just trying to hang on. They just hope that uh, Team Red and Team Green somehow clash. And so they can survive and maybe crawl, the, crawl back in the game. But look at this. Foggy with so many expansions. This one doesn't even have wisps, actually. Yeah. Expansion here for Orc Worker. That's, that's his first expansion, by the way. I don't know. Maybe that's the play. Get one player to expand a lot, and the other player to, uh, to not expand. Just give money from one player to the other. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works with upkeep. Oh, this guy's gonna be doomed, guys. 
We have a Doom here. I mean, he's already doomed, but he's gonna turn into a Doom Guard. That's what I'm saying. There's a Doom Guard. I bet Foggy is not even, uh, doesn't even realize. He's probably microing something else somewhere else. Because he hasn't cast a single spell yet. No stomps, no cripples, nothing. Meanwhile, this base is also dying here for Team Loliath. They're hanging on, they're trying to rebuild over here. But so they need to keep Sawin in the game as well. Just so, just Loliath. It's gonna be difficult, but I don't think Sawin has uh, anything really. No peons. I can't, how do I check his supply? I need to find a, a unit of Sawin. Is this Sawin's? Yes. Sawin is at 16 supply. I'm not sure what it is, but 16 supply somewhere. And uh, Lolite is 80, 83. He still has an army somewhere. Yeah, this army. Still pretty big, but you cannot win against. Uh, you cannot win a one versus two. He's trying to defend, but you know why? Why even uh, engage here? Maybe he wants to go to sleep. He's like, okay, okay, guys, it's over. I want to go to sleep. Uh, Sawin's heroes are they here as well? The Sawin, yeah, Sawin has a Beastmaster there and a, and a Torin. But. Uh, you know, all of this is dying. The Lich died. The Lies Lich. His tanks are dying. And, well. It seems like Team Lolite, Sawin, and uh, Hawk and Blade, they were fighting early. And because of that, they both died. While Team Foggy and uh, Happy, they were just creeping up more. They were uh, expanding. They weren't really fighting here. And they will survive in the end. They have the super strong units, the super strong items. Keeper of the Grove went down. We have some tanks here trying to go for a counter attack. Tank counter attack on this tree of life. Nice play here by Loliath. No matter how far he's behind, without the 36 supply, he just was at like 93 or 86 or something. And now he's down to 34. But he's uh, he's still going for the counter attack. Come on, this other tank. No, he GG's out. He GG's out. Team Loliath. Guess they're going to sleep. Green Hope will win, maybe? No, I don't think so. We have more Orb of Fire and Staff over here. Not sure we'll uh, put it on the floor, but... We have some... Wait, they just dropped all the items? <laughs> is that what they did? <laughs> or is this... Uh, are these focus items? The Crown of Kings is... Where's the warden? Does he still have... Oh, here comes the attack of uh, Team Happy, of course. Where is that warden? Does he still have those two crown of kings? Um, because this is just worker, right? Oh, no, there's a pit lord for Foggy. I don't know where the warden went. Did she die at some point? Oh, there she is. She still has those two crown of kings. Are these like uh, Team Low Light and Serene's items that they dropped? Anyway, we have uh, this fight here. Beautiful Rain of Fire. We have Doom Guards. A lot of them. Uh, both teams, I mean, have at least one of them. You can Doom the Doom Guard, which is interesting. Or can you? Can you Doom the Doom Guard? I assume you can. But I'm not sure actually. Anyway, a lot of units are dying. There's a uh, Rain of Fire and Blizzard at the same time. That is just beautiful. And Flame Strike as well, of course. Did we see Flame Strikes? I'm not sure if we saw a single Flame Strike yet. It seems like uh, Team Red is super powerful, while Team Foggy, not that powerful. They were powerful before, but now they're just dying here. So easy peasy game here by Team Happy. They didn't take a fight this entire game uh, long, and then they just clean up Team Foggy at the end. After uh, Team Foggy is done killing Team uh, Suin. This guy, look at all the buffs. Oh, you guys don't see the buffs. He's bloodlusted, he has inner fire, vampiric aura, endurance aura, bronze aura, thorns aura. He has all the auras in the game besides uh, uh, the one aura, what's it called? Actually, a few more auras. Actually, there are a lot of auras he doesn't have, but I'm just saying he has a lot of uh, buffs and auras, etc. Tanked, etc. Killing everything. Orc worker's base is. Uh, wait, what was this base? Yeah, Orc worker's main base is demolished. How much supply does Orc worker have? 15. What about Foggy? 89. Okay, Foggy still has a big army. He, of course, rebuild it here super fast. But uh, it's pretty much one first two now. 
And we have 99 for Happy. And we have his ally who is, of course, uh, cashed at 98. Looks like an easy game for them. And they didn't even do anything all game long. Did it take a single fight? They attacked once over here. Uh, they attacked Blade once. And now they just clean up. <laughs> easy game. I mean, they have some level 6 heroes. I guess they took a few more fights here and there, but... I don't even remember. Chocolate! Chuck Chatman! This base is Orkbrook's last base. And uh, Foggy Deep is in with the towers, maybe he can fend, but the hippos come in, but... What are they gonna do against this many tanks? Kill some wyverns? Sure, but they're gonna die all themselves. Uh, look, all the hippos are dead before they even kill the, the wyvern. There's still two wyvern alive. The uh, chimeras are going down. And uh, Blizzard and Flame Strike and Rain of Fire on the units. And it looks like uh, that's a GG. GG. Super fast game today.